Okay, we're here today at the Excite, uh, what is this? Damn it, okay, sorry. We're here today at the Excluding X-rays, Ill Technologies Institute, and uh, we have a chaos machine. Now, there's probably cameras, because there's cameras everywhere, so. Actually, there's, is that a camera? No, it's a light. But there's probably a camera, so I'm gonna, you know, hide my identity a little bit here. My identity hiding glasses. Now, this, what this machine does is whenever you put it up, like this, two things happen. One, it creates chaos at a random point place in the world, so a young baby dies. And normally I would care, but there's two reasons, or well, there's one reason why I don't care today, and that is because we're making a video. And when you're making a video, anything goes including the death of babies. Innocent, innocent babies from Africa and Nigeria. Which, wait, is Nigeria and Africa? The not Africa and Nigeria, just Nigeria. All right, are you ready? This is gonna be the most intense chaos that the world has ever seen. And hopefully, hold on. Okay, ready? Here we go. <coughs> I think a baby just died. Maybe two. Oh damn! Should also point out that this is the guy who invented this thing, I think. And uh, you may recognize him from some commercials where he uh, says, I'm diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> that's why I call it the baby. They have me a little better than and as you can see, the chaos is, is pretty much coming to an end. Though many babies have died, many will now live. This one's definitely going to require disguise. Now, this is why... Alright, let's see exactly, first, just how accurate the chaos machine is. Okay, I don't think there's any way that it could possibly hit the Coke bottle right now. We're going to put this to the test. Are you ready? Point is very, very accurate. Test number two, same, same idea, same principle. There should be no way that it could hit this coke bottle. So we're gonna we're gonna put it to the test. The only thing that might the only thing that I think might happen is depending on like how much 
there is this might fall, which will be bad, but I don't think that's going to happen. So let's hope that I'm right, because my calculations have proven to be very accurate in the past. Thanks to Mr. Staley's physics class. Are you filming? Okay, here we go. Try this because this might be dangerous. I'm gonna find out. I'm just gonna also test my strength. I'm also not gonna do it very fast though. Now, what we're gonna try to figure out by doing this, the whole purpose of this, is the when I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna start it like in this position, right? And here it's not gonna hit the pen. When this falls, it's gonna hit the pen. I wanna see like how long it takes, like how many revs we can get before it hits the pen. So I'm going to hold on for dear life, and we're going to see. You ready? Go. <laughs> that was like eight or nine. All right, so the first experiment was like eight or nine. This is, this is experiment number two. That was five. Okay. Number three. How many? How many do you think we need to do to have like a good estimate? Five. So, do we have a piece of paper? Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. Ah, oh, yes. The notebook that always comes in handy. I can write down my data in here. Okay. Trial. Trials. Trials. Trial one. Eight. Trial two, five. Now trial three. Oof. That one was only two. Although I think the data was a little skewed because I didn't do it as hard as I normally do. All right, ready? Was that like six? I think so. One more trial, maybe two, if you don't count that number three. Okay, trial five. takes an on average of six seconds in order for chaos to hit the pen. Six cycles. Cycles, that's what I meant. Six cycles. <clears throat> cool. I guess that's all I wanted to know. Now I will reward myself with a crisp, refreshing taste. Coca-Cola Classic. Note that they don't pay us to do this. However, if they would like to work out a deal, I'd be more than happy to do this in every video. Can we just head to rooster.com? Mm. So good. Yeah. Pepsi can't, can't compete. Alright. Let's stop, I guess.